Welcome to the Thursday, September 4th, 2014 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. Today we discuss two potential outcomes for the Thanksgiving season turkey market. Plus, this fall's Russian Red King crab catch gets a boost. But first, with the story on the current U.S. crop situation, here's your host, Nicole Bessemer. In the latest crop progress report, the USDA finds 93% of the U.S. corn crop and 94% of soybeans are in fair to excellent condition. Corn futures hit their lowest levels in years during Wednesday's trading. As continued positive crop development news furthers expectations for a record harvest year. September corn settled at $3.41.25 per bushel, while December contract closed at $3.52. Soybeans also slid lower the same day following the report. Above normal temperatures expected this week in the corn bed belt should continue to benefit late developing crops. For continued coverage on the U.S. crop situation, subscribers should click on the news link under any of the protein tabs in Comtel. We now turn to some turkey news where post-Labor Day market conditions are settling up the industry for what could be a unique Thanksgiving season. We bring in poultry market reporter Terrence Wells with the story. With the door being shut on Labor Day weekend 2014, for the turkey industry, another door, or at least a window, has been flung wide open. Thanksgiving is under three months away and it is turkey's time to take the spotlight. One of the challenges to both buyers and sellers is being as close to the right side of the market fence as possible. It's no easy game. During the past four years between Labor Day and Thanksgiving, the fro frozen whole body tom market has advanced an average of six cents per pound. This year, an interesting twist has developed where Ernerberry's Labor Day quotations reside at record levels. If the market advances only a couple of cents, as it has in the past two years, then a new Thanksgiving market will not be achieved. If, however, it advances closer to the four-year average, then a record Thanksgiving market is in the cards. The question is, which side of the fence will you be on for Thanksgiving 2014? Thanks, Terrence. In other news, SeafoodNews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing is here to wrap up today's show with a report on this fall's Russian king crab quotas. There are expectations that even more legal Russian red king crab will be available in the U.S. market again this year after a proposal would double the quota for the upcoming fall season out of the western Kamchatka region. Russian fishery scientists proposed to boost red king crab quotas to 6,100 tons out of the western part of the Russian peninsula. They also recommended to boost the catch out of the Kuril region to a little over 3,700 tons. In total, this would nearly double red king crab catches to nearly 9,900 tons from from these areas, where the season is expected to run until December. Last year marked the first time since 2008 that fishing on these waters was permitted, and it is largely believed the catch out of this region contributed to an increase in Russian crab sold into the U.S. market in 2013. The recommendation is still pending official approval, but has the backing of two distinct Russian fishery research groups. Get more developments from the king crab fishery along with other crab market news and notes at seafoodnews.com. Thanks, Michael. That will conclude our show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.